Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a second week of May um, love romantic reading for you. This is for applicable for singles, couples in a relationship or dating. This is for you Virgo friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're okay. First of all, I want to thank you for your likes, for your subscribe and for supporting my channel. You're one of those signs that give me a lot of hits and views. So thank you. Thank you, Virgo. This is for you. Second week of May. What can I get for Virgo friends? Second week of May, please. Virgo friends, second week of May. So your first card, Virgo, is this the Five of Swords in reverse. You've got the Four of Pentacles in um, in upright position. You've got the Knight of Wands. You've got the um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Devil. For some of you, I'm picking up like you're not giving up or someone is not giving up. All right, Five of Swords in reverse. If you are in a situation where there was... There was a lie, there was deceit, there was confusing confusing energy, there was there was a third party. Um, you know, you are getting out of that confusing or um because five of swords in upright position sorry, reverse position speaks about progress. So it's a progress in terms of being confused, being lied upon, something that's deceitful, something that's a mystery, something that's it's um Something that it's not really pleasant to deal with, or, or something that's not something that's not right, in short. So it's a progress. You're getting out of that, or it could be as simple as you're being confused. So someone around you is showing a, a confusing sign, giving giving you um, hopes or um, statements or action or communication that isn't really um, matching up with their actions. Something something progressive in short so it's it's a good card it's a good card if it's in reverse because it's progress this is update this is um um this is getting out of a deceitful thought or um progressing out from a relationship or a communication where it was it was um it was surrounded by lies, all right, or by deceit, or um, it's something good, all right. Five of Swords, I like this. If you are a third party, part, if you are in a third party, or you felt like your partner, Page of Cups in reverse, um, if your partner, the, the person that you linked with romantically, um, if they were not really apologetic of you, or if they were not giving you the attention if they're not respecting you you know because sometimes if some if a person if if you're being lied upon if you're being deceived if if, if we're being deceived deceive deceit um it means it's it's you know it's not respectful so if you felt like you are not being respected you're not being valued um this card is saying there's something progressive there is an update there's an update second third fourth war fourth week of may an update it could be you could be them but there is an update in general collective the best um way to describe this is there is a progress there is an update something of a good update from a person uh, an update a progress where you, you can look forward to happening all right it could be as simple as a verbal communication like some sort of assurance to you I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to commit. I'm going to continue doing this. Blah, 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 blah. Something of an update. Something of a progress. Something that you don't expect them to do it. But they committed. And it's that's something to you look forward to. Three of Wands. It's it's looking forward. It's reaching. It's reaching. It's a milestone. It's reaching a certain point of something. And being happy with with reaching that point. You know, it's it's satisfaction so whatever update progress um, you're satisfied with it and you look forward for that result to further progress to further give you 
um, more update, more progress, more good things to come. All right? Something that you could trust. Because I felt like in the past, disrespect or something that's deceit or lie. This time around, it's progressing. Something you could trust. It could be you giving that, you know, progressive or update or displaying trust or showing that you can trust me, something of like that. It's good, right? It is progressive. It's moving further to good stuff, all right? Four of pentacles is in reverse. I felt like this is more of the past energy because in the past, someone is holding back, you know? If for some of you, I'm picking, like, I'm picking up like you're not sure you're holding back. You hold back because there is uncertainty like you hold back because you felt like this person is lying this person is not telling the truth or you hold back you don't want to invest because you felt like you can't get the clarity the wholeness whatever it is you know there's a hold back in the past but you're releasing you're you know you're you're you know you're going back or someone is um, charging towards you with passion so this is again connected to this card because as you feel the progress as you and this person felt the connection that it's progressing that there is a promising result this time that the connection the reconnection is getting stronger you know there's something that you look forward to every day update and progress from from on in from time to time you know it's it's consistently going okay then this knight of wands is, is the energy that you you know if you were holding back before no more holding back because you're you're gaining the trust you know things are going back to normal communication and you are you know this person or you is going back or um starting to to invite or to incorporate the knight of wands energy the Knight of Wands energy, it's passionate, it's flirt, um, it's teasing, it's it's there to make an attention. For some of you, I'm picking up like this person is really going to try hard to get you back, to get your attention, or it could be you Virgo. But there's the, the thing about the Knight of Wands, it's, it's, it's passionate. It is a person that is writhing with, with lots of energy to get things moving like what i said in these two cards you know there's progressive and the way they want to progress they want the way they want to move along they want the way they want to send communication message there's no holding back it's just continuous passion and energy towards you so it's good it's good but the the only negative side of the knight of wands it's that it's a bit on and off all right it, it could be that for you 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 pray and you you wanted them to um for some of you i'm picking like i'm picking up like you would you would want you would rather have this slow progress but sure versus a knight of wands energy where it's so fast passionate flirting lots of you know attention pouring towards you virgo uh, but the next day it's gone you know this is this is the this is the only thing about the knight of wands it is you know it are uh, when when the knight of wands if you compare this with a person or a communi communication it arrive in full outfit to get people's attention but it leaves early you know it's on and off it it, it has a grand arrival to get someone's attention to get people to like them to get a yes but they leave the scene hanging or they they leave you open mouth something like that like huh it's like, it's like some it's it's something like you you kind of enjoy that it's it's hard to resist because it's there to to flirt you know to give you that teasing kind of energetic passionate um connection but it might not stay so for some of you it could be a reminder that if you guys are connecting, reconnecting, or progressing well to whatever it is that you aim for this relationship or dating to happen, because I think you will, you know, there's a really progressive energy in here. Um, you know, you could have a proposal to this person, like, you know, let's take it slow, let's take it easy, and just breathe in, breathe out, and 
don't be overwhelmed of this reconnection or this dating thing again you know it's this there's an energy of like slow breathe enjoy slow again breathe and enjoy all right um because it's better this way you know it's it's better that way than you know pouring you out all, all of this love all of this cheesy lines and statement and effort and then the next day the next day it's gone you know um it's it's all about consistency and consistency and and um and quality you know you, you don't have to be grand all the time in terms of expressing in terms of giving someone's attention you just really have to be consistent and sincere you know that's you know that's one of the theme i'm picking up in here for you and this person you've got the nine of pentacles in reverse and the devil card connected to this nine of pentacles because i felt like again it's it's what i said it's what it's what i just explained that you know don't be clingy i know that you and this person starting to hit up again start to pick up the 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 connection the reconnection don't be clingy right don't don't overly pour the attention and the next day you don't have anything to talk right if you're having conversation right now you know keep it short simple and save some of the detail for next day so that you have something to look forward to because if you're clingy it, it gets to a toxic connection it's like you you lost you will lose the interest or you will lose the flame if you burn everything out today and you don't have anything any energy tomorrow so save you know save energy save info so that you have something to pick up and further discuss the next day all right so this is for you it's really really good it has a good plan and a good plan always have a good outcome so good luck to you virgo thanks for being here i hope you enjoy the reading if you do kindly click like don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon again. Thanks Virgo. Bye.